Well, good morning, guys. Today is uh, Monday, November the 12th, I believe. And uh, just getting settled in the blind here. A little bit different uh, scene than you're normally seeing me in. Um, got the white on and the orange hat and it's snowing out here. And uh, that's because we're deer hunting in Saskatchewan today. <laughs> so my Uncle Mark brought me up here. He's my boss. I work for him at the car washes. So he decided to bring me up here and uh, to Saskatchewan, and we're going to uh, be up here for five days and see if we can kill one of these big, big giant deer they have up here. It's an outfitted hunt and all. Um, these people own like 400,000 acres or something, and they just come in here and they put bait piles and. Uh, you just sit in a blind watching the bait pile over here. I actually have the have the rifle here, the 708. So it's the first time I've rifle hunted for deer in, uh, I believe since 2017 was the last time I shot a deer with a, with a rifle. So, pretty crazy situation we got going on here but uh we're excited to be here it's uh 20 degrees this morning i think the high is like 35 for today and it's basically going to be right in there all week i think uh, wednesday or thursday is going to be a, a low of like 15 and a high of like 25 um but they got some snow on the ground last week um been getting a little bit harsher weather and uh, that's basically what makes these deer feed um, and they said we're hitting it like right on time with the rut right now. They said these deer should be rutting pretty much in full swing, chasing, cruising, checking does. Um, so that's good, good deal. We're hitting it at the right time. And uh, hopefully we'll just have a, something big walk by us here in a few days. We actually also have a wolf tag too. This is the first year that... <coughs> I'm not sure if it's all of Saskatchewan or just this part of Saskatchewan uh, is allowing wolf wolf hunting. So they've seen a few in the area. There's been a lot of tracks here at the bait sites. So uh, yeah, we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for a wolf too. That'd be pretty awesome to kill kill a big old wolf. But uh, main objective is a big old big old Canadian whitetail. So they had uh, plenty of big ones back at the lodge, hung up on the wall. So we'll be looking for one of them big chocolate horn monsters up here. It's about 2.45 right now, and uh, starting to cool down for sure. It's definitely getting colder. Just had a few more deer pop out. Saw that spike pretty early this morning when I was getting set up, and then uh, I had a doe and a fawn come by at 12, a little six-point come by right at 2 o'clock. But I had my window open a little too much and they kept, they picked me out, the spike and the doe, or the six point and the doe both picked me out, so I closed my window up. 
and I had this doe and her two fawns come down the trail looking straight at me and they haven't looked at me once so that's a good deal. What's going on guys? Today is um, Tuesday, November 14th, I believe. It's our second day up here in Canada. We had about two inches of snow come in last night and uh, it's been really windy this morning. So I think that's keeping the deer pushed down a little bit. They're not moving quite as much as they, they would normally be moving. It's about 22 degrees this morning. I think the high today is like 32 or 34. A little bit warmer low but a little bit colder high so we'll see how the deer movement is i've already seen a doe and two fawns the same ones i saw yesterday i'm sure hunting the same blind that i hunted yesterday <clears throat> some of the other guys in camp saw a nice eight pointer and a couple small deer um, about like what i saw i guess and then big john killed that wolf uh early yesterday morning so no one's uh, tagged out on a buck yet so hopefully in the next couple of days someone will uh, someone will shoot one if not a whole bunch of us shoot one it's supposed to be really cold on Thursday so I hope Thursday is going to be like our best day it's probably going to be our best chance to shoot a buck hopefully this wind won't blow too long because I know the deer will start moving if it if it dies down.
what's going on guys today is a uh, thursday november 16th it's our fourth day up here in saskatchewan and uh it's a cold one it's 12 degrees this morning the high is supposed to be like 28 and uh very still overcast it just started snowing a little bit i've had deer on me all morning pretty much I had the doe and the fawn come out right after i got in the other doe with two fawns came out about 9 30 and then i just had the big eight pointer that i saw on tuesday come through and feed and walk on he looked a little better today than he did the other day <laughs> but still not quite a shooter so we got today and tomorrow left tomorrow's gonna be a little bit warmer than usual so it's probably not gonna be a great day so today really is the day that we need to get something killed up here do my best to stay warm and try not to use the heater any more than I have to. I feel like it puts off a lot of heat and smell, so I really don't want to use it if I don't have to. But maybe a big one will show up today. Fingers crossed. Good morning guys. It is day five up here in Saskatchewan. A little bit warmer this morning. I think it was 25 degrees. The high is 40 today. That's really high for this time of year. But the good thing is every day that goes by is one day closer to when these deer are supposed to start rutting. It appears that they haven't haven't rutted at all yet. And uh, they just they just started scraping last week, and uh, we seen two or three fresh scrapes last night. Um, one of the other guys, Mike, saw a nine pointer at 11:40 yesterday, and it was the same nine that came by here at three o'clock yesterday. So that deer went close to two miles in three hours. So the deer up on their feet moving, and. Uh, that nine pointer and I saw the eight pointer again um, that I saw on Tuesday. They both walked into the bait smelling around feeding and lip curling out there where the does had been. So they appear to be in the mood and to be checking. Um, I wish it was about 10 degrees colder but it is what it is. We have uh, today and tomorrow. I thought today was our last day but we can hunt tomorrow too. So fingers crossed. It's been a it's been a rough week. Seen plenty of deer, or I've seen plenty of deer. Some of the other guys have seen like one deer a day, two or three days without seeing a deer. Um, and I've pretty much seen five to six to eight deer every day. So even though the weather's been rough, um, I've had a pretty good spot here. But uh, hopefully one of us can kill a buck in the next couple of days. Uh, before we uh, we have to get out of here and head down to Kansas.
my gosh. I cannot believe that was a, wasn't a shooter. I'm sitting here just <clears throat> watching out in the blind. I actually, a big wind cuss came by and I just heard literally just like literally that's what it sounded like and i was like oh my god eased up clipped the gopro and grabbed my gun and there's a doe right here at five yards five yards standing there and i heard her run up cocked my gun got my cameras on just backed it way out and set record and i start looking down through here and i see a head and it's just another like 100 inch deer dude <laughs> If that deer had to turn around and ran the other way, I would have bet money it was a giant. <laughs> I think I got a little bit of him grunting out here because he chased her across. I mean, he stopped right there. Could have killed him. Gosh almighty. That was extremely intense. At 12.30. 12.30. Jesus. That was insane. Oh my gosh, I thought that was it. Well, the rut's on, 100%. He's chasing that doe pretty good. That was crazy, those grunts he was making. I hope I got that on video. I mean, he was just like, Bruh. he just held it for like five or six, seven, eight seconds. He went over there and did it again, but that, I heard him do it. Yeah, I heard him do it. As soon as I heard him run up, I heard him do it. And I was like, oh my gosh. I knew, I knew it was a deer, but I was almost, you know, everything's different up here. And I was almost like, it's not like a bear or a wolf or anything. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. Toward his dough too. They fight over these doughs. That's a pretty nice one. That's a good one. The other mm -hmm. one ain't bad. Yep. He's younger. I can video in it. Get the job, kid. Come over here. He got two doughs down there, just one. I can't tell. That's him. He didn't get over here now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He gonna come over here and fight us, I think, for being here. Yeah, he's a sick one. Yeah, that one to the right over there's got more points, but man, yeah, he's a little, a little small. Yeah, a little smaller than the right dominant ones right here. Uh -huh. Look, he gonna bump it right up his heel, ain't he? Okay, check it out. There he comes sneaking up. And sneak. the little man said, "Hey, I'm gonna go over and check it out." Ain't he? he said, "No, I'm not gonna bounce." Bounces up. All right, that's yeah, that's small. pretty good. That is. See my phone if I need it. I got it right here. I ain't gonna slow down yet. We live and on location. We got a little scenic view right here that you don't see much. Look at that right there, boys. Little backdrop with a muley. Shazam, ba bam. That's what we're talking about. It's a monster. He's looking for love in all the wrong places.
He got him with dough right here on the seal. He does. He's not going nowhere. He's pretty though. That's crazy. That is nice. Act, act. <laughs> That's pretty live and on location. Look at that thing over there. He's got pretty no hunting. <laughs> down here on the hill that is 40 yards away big 